Hey, what's up everyone? It's Lord Ryujin bringing you another YouTube video. And I wanted to just do a real quick video about some random thoughts that I've been having in my brain lately. You know, I, I recently got my hands on some new Amiibo. And um, I got to thinking, this crazy idea, especially for the NX and going forward for Nintendo's hardware, what if they use the Amiibos as a sort of DLC incentive? You know, like, good example is you get your hands on the Wolf Link Amiibo, Twilight Princess HD, you unlock a new dungeon, you get some DLC for buying that amiibo. And this could be something that going forward Nintendo could use as their trump card. You know, Sony and Microsoft, they're going back and forth with who gets maps first, who gets this DLC first. And Nintendo could do it in a unique way and say, well, you know, when we get the DLC, you can use this. You know, and... I'm just going to throw some examples out there, and I know that with a lot of these, they don't even have Amiibos, and some of these, they may be difficult to do Amiibos for, but I just want to throw some examples out there, you know? Um, like, they could probably go to Capcom, and they, you know, they can give them some money and say, look, make the next Mega Man game, and you can use that Mega Man Amiibo to maybe unlock some new levels, or unlock a harder mode, or, you know, stuff like that. And if you want to really have it to where... Um, this can move forward, because in a way, Nintendo's already kind of done this. Again, I mentioned it before with the uh, the Wolf Link uh, Amiibo, and we've seen it with games like Project Steam, how the, um, the Fire Emblem characters can be used to, you know, add stuff to that game as well. So we kind of already see it, but this could be an incentive for Nintendo to use third-party developers like crazy. You know, like, look, we got, you know, the Cloud Amiibo, you bring us Final Fantasy VII Remake, and we can use that to unlock some really neat stuff in the game, making people want to buy that, that Cloud Amiibo, you know? You make, um, I don't know, the Mother Trilogy in HD or something, and release that bad boy, and the Ness and the Lucas Amiibo instantly do some, some stuff. Like, they unlock new stages, or, you know, maybe they, you know... Get creative with this. I don't want to throw a lot of ideas out right now because, again, these are just random thoughts I was thinking. But what if Nintendo used Amiibos for DLC? And I mean, not just like, you know, the tiny stuff like, oh, it refills your hearts. Because that stuff is, is cool, but or even like how you get harder mode for using Ganondorf in Twilight Princess HD. Yeah, sure, certainly, I understand that. But... What I'm getting at, more or less, is with third-party developers. You see what I'm saying? Like, again, a lot of stuff probably isn't going to happen, but maybe they can make, like, a Rayman Amiibo, and they can say, you give us the next Rayman, you can unlock stages using the Rayman Amiibo. So people are going to want to instantly buy that Rayman Amiibo to get those extra stages, especially if you're a Rayman fan like I am. And because, you know, that game sells more on their system, that company gets some cuts, maybe they get some cuts of the Amiibo sales, etc., etc., making the third-party developers want to work with Nintendo. Because I have a feeling that when the NX comes out, it's not going to be as powerful as everybody says it's going to be. It's probably going to be a little more powerful than a Wii U, probably as powerful as an Xbox One. I don't think it's going to be as powerful as a PlayStation 4. And even if it is as powerful as a PlayStation 4, once Microsoft and Sony comes out with their next-gen systems, it's probably going to be more powerful, more capable. So Nintendo's going to need to have something. They're going to need to have something to keep that edge. And to me, I think that's going to be Amiibo. I mean, they've already killed it with Amiibo sales. They've already shown that, you know, people love Amiibos. They want to buy them. They want to use them for things. And this could be something that going forward, look, we have Pokemon Amiibo. Use them in Pokemon you know, you give us a Bayonetta Amiibo, we can use it in Bayonetta 3 for this, that, and that. You give us, uh, you know, you bring over, let's say, Watch Dogs 2. I'm just using it as an example, because that might not happen. Um, Assassin's Creed. You give us Assassin's Creed, we make a figure of whoever that character is, and maybe it can do some stuff. Like, maybe it can instantly use Eagle Vision, or maybe it, you know gives you a new stage, or a new weapon, or something, you know? Something that would encourage people to want to use not only that Amiibo, but to play that game on that system. So now Nintendo sells NX systems. And uh, let's use Ubisoft for the example with Assassin's Creed. Ubisoft sells Assassin's Creed on the NX. 
and they get a cut of the of the amiibo as well. So people buy the amiibo, it's a win-win. You know, Nintendo sells systems, the company sells games. This seems like it's a good idea, and this is probably what Nintendo's trump card is. Again, it's just a random idea, I know. People are probably going to look at me and just think that I'm, you know, some weird person that's just like, you just want to release more Amiibo. No, not really. There are some Amiibo that I don't care for. I think that there are already way too many, especially because we have Gold and Silver Mario. And like, what, they just recently announced, like, what, a Gold Mega Man? Like... That's not really necessary. We have some really unneeded amiibo, but if they could be turned around to be used for something, like maybe the gold Mega Man has a special code in it that will give you something like some kind of invincibility for a few seconds in the next Mega Man game. You know, if we even get one. You see what I'm saying? Or maybe there's a Simon Belmont that comes out, and so we get a Castlevania one, which, you know, good luck with that with Konami. But I'm just giving you examples of things that we could get. And we could also use this going forward for games like Smash Brothers, where, or even Mario Kart, where instead of paying DLC to get certain characters, you can instantly just pop them on, you've now unlocked Mario and Smash, you've now unlocked this character. And this could be something that can also backfire, though, because again, if you have it to where every single amiibo can be a character, then... You know, you have to put a limit on it, and, you know, Sakurai is going to be working forever on Smash Brothers because every potential game that comes out might have an amiibo and might be able to be used in Smash or be used in Mario Kart, this, that, and the other. So maybe they can limit the roster. I don't know. These are just, again, just ideas that I have. Um, and now that I got that off my chest, I can go on to do more important things and more important videos. I just wanted to go ahead and just share that that weird thought that I had and get your two cents on it. Make sure that you put it down in the comments below about what you think about using Amiibo um, for the DLC. You know, it could be something that Nintendo could strongly use going forward to get third party support and can really give them an edge over really anybody because it's like, look, you may have to get a DLC pack to play this Call of Duty, but if you buy Call of Duty with us and pop this Amiibo on there, you get it, or, you know, something like that. Just weird ideas, I guess. Um, and nothing will probably come from it, but I just figured I'd want to share it just to do a video and talk about, you know, this weird idea that I've been thinking about for a couple of days. But I thank you for watching, guys. As always, have a good one, and I'll see you next time.